Okay, just a little help with some of the homework questions for assignment one. This is week eight. Um, your, you don't really get a worksheet this week. It's all on the Google form. All of the questions are on the Google form, so it looks really weird. But I, some people still need a little bit of help going through these problems. Um, but just remember, this is all lateral surface area of cylinders, okay? And so that's the formula you need to use every single time, the 2 pi r h. And you're not even solving these this week, 2 pi r h. You're just plugging in um, the radius and the height. For cylinders, it's super easy. That's all that you need. You need the radius and you need the height of the whole cylinder or the whole can. Okay, so on number one, remember radius is halfway across your base, your circle base halfway across. So in number one's case, the radius is already there and the height is always the distance between those two circular bases or, or think of how tall it is. So all you're doing is plugging these numbers in. You're not even solving it. So on number one, two times pi times radius, which in this case is six times the height, which is 11. Um, remember when formulas look like this, when they're just things right next to each other, that means you're multiplying. So that's why your answer choices look like that, and that's why I wrote this down here. So literally all you need to do is match two times pi times six, which already knocks out, bam, 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 times 11, okay? I'm just gonna go through a couple of these, um, and then I'll write the formula down for the rest of them. Um, number two, same thing, lateral surface area. If it helps, if you're writing on a separate sheet of paper, if you even need to do that, write the formula down each time. So that kind of helps. Um, in this case though, if you look at your circular base, which is where you'll find the radius, they drew a line all the way across that circle. Okay, so a line all the way across a circle, remember, is the diameter. Okay, we need half of that for the radius and for all these formulas. So if the diameter is six, that means we just want half of that and half of six is three, yeah. So two times pi times your radius times the height of the whole shape. Number four, the same thing. I'm just gonna write the formula, two times pi times radius times height and may pay close attention to your circular base and the line that they've drawn. Is that line? Oh gosh, I'm touching things. Buttons, okay. Um, is the line all the way across? If so, that's your diameter. In this case, we just want half of that. So half of three is gonna be your radius. Number five. Same thing, it's lateral, two times pi times radius times height. This one's pretty self-explanatory. You don't have to find anything. They drew halfway across the circle. You're good to go. Number six, two, pi, two times pi times radius times height. Same thing here. They drew halfway across the circle, so that's already done for you. Okay, that's assignment one. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but if you need help, you can always email me, Mr. Brooks, Mrs. Finley, and join our Google Meets once a week at least. You can join for like two minutes and you'll get a free 100, which means you'll only have to do one of the assignments. Okay, so this is assignment two. And the only difference here is we're finding total surface area, which looks like the original lateral formula that we used on assignment one, two times pi times radius times height, plus two times pi times radius squared. So you still just have to find the radius and you still just have to find the height. That's really all you need to look for. So on number one, my radius, remember look at your circular base to find that. They drew a line halfway across the circle, which is perfect because that's my radius, that's what I need. I don't have to divide, I don't have to do anything weird. And then the height, just how tall that can is. So that's 11. So when I plug this into the formula, and that's all we're doing again on this worksheet, you're just plugging it in. You don't even have to solve. You don't even need a calculator. So two 
times pi times the radius, which is already there for me, times height, which is 11, plus 2 times pi times 6 squared. Okay, so just be careful and find what matches that. Okay, and even if you go through and you're looking at the numbers like 3, 3 is not right because it's already halfway across. You could get rid of A and D just by looking at the first part of the answer choice. Okay, number two, same thing. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna write the full formula down. And if you're at home and you have a scratch piece of paper, I would do that also, just so you know what the formula looks like and where everything needs to go. Because this part right here is where people are gonna mess up. Okay, so then go to look at your shape. Identify the parts. We have how tall the cylinder is, so that's our height. They, on the circular base, they drew a line all the way across. That's not what we want. We only want half of that. So that six is saying that's all the way across. So think about what half of six is, and that is your radius. Okay, so same thing. Plug in this for your radius, and this for your height. Radius, and find which answer choice matches. Number three. Again, I'm gonna write the formula down. Two pi r times height or I should say it, 2 times pi times radius times height plus 2 times pi times radius squared. So looking at your circular base, they drew a line all the way across and said that that was 7. We don't want 7. We don't want all the way across. We want halfway across. So you are going to have to use a little math. Use your calculator. What is 7 divided by 2? That's your radius. And then your height, 10. So radius... Once you divide seven by two, and then your H height. Couple more, I'm just gonna write the formula down. Two times pi times radius times height, plus two times pi times radius squared. Look at the line, it's all the way across. We want half of that. Okay, so three divided by two. Number five, two pi, two times pi times radius times height plus two times pi times radius squared. This one is nice because look at your line on the circular base. They only drew it halfway across, which is exactly what we want. So I don't have to do any dividing on that one. That's my radius. How tall it is, they gave me that number as well. Number six, yay, same thing. Two times pi times radius times height plus two times pi times radius squared. Same thing, they didn't draw the line all the way across, they only drew it halfway and said that that was seven, that's perfect, that's my radius, and then how tall it is. So your radius, you don't have to do anything to it, just plug it in, and the height. See which one of those answer choices matches what that would look like. Again, email if you have any questions.